wildfires in California, it must be climate change. Every news outlet says so. We know that many environmentalists right now are sounding the alarm on the role that climate change is playing. Why is climate change to blame? You say it's because of the greater number of heat waves, rising temperatures, and lack of rain. Is that true or just more climate BS? Let's check the actual scientific data from official government sources. First, heat waves. There is the official government record on heat waves in the US since 1900. In 120 years, there has been no upward trend. In fact, heat waves were much more common and more intense in the 1930s. How about the alleged rise in temperatures? Here is the government's own data, this time of record high and low temperatures in the US since 1895. We see on the bottom that record low temperatures have risen gently. In other words, the weather is slightly milder. But what about high temperatures at the top? There is no upward trend at all. In fact, it's clear from official government data that record maximum temperatures were higher in the 1930s than today. And here we have official data on heat spells from the EPA. Once again, it shows that the early 20th century was hotter than today, and the temperatures reached a peak in the 1930s. If you think that all this government data is at odds with NASA's famous graph of rising estimated average global temperature anomalies, you're dead right. And we'll be dealing with NASA's ridiculous graph in another film. But what about the lack of rain due to global warming, which, we're told on the news, is turning the US into a tinderbox? Here's NOAA's official record of rainfall in the US since 1900. In the past 120 years, there's been a steady increase in rainfall. There's more rain, not less. Given that the US has not grown hotter over the past century, and that there's been more rain, you might have expected there to be fewer wildfires, not more. And in fact, that's what we do find. Here is the official government record of acres burned by wildfire in the US since the 1920s. Thankfully, there's been a spectacular decrease in the incidence of wildfires. And that's also true of the world as a whole. Here is a published estimate of areas affected by wildfires globally over the 20th century. There has been a very obvious decline. What is really quite sickening is that environmental activists and their best friends in the mainstream media are prepared to exploit a real human tragedy to further their warped political ends. Don't get taken in by climate lies. Check the data yourself. I'm Martin Durkin, and this is Guerrilla Science.